All right, from some classic rock to classic hip hop, we are here at the Rock Hop. Holly, if you hear me, is the brand spanking new hip hop exhibit. You guys had a tremendous opening night for this, didn't you? Who were some of the stars that came in, Joe? Yeah, we had Daryl McDaniel from Run DMC. We had Chuck D and Flavor Flav from Public Enemy. Uh, Roxanne Shante came in from uh, Rock the Bells, did yeah. a radio show. Helped us open up this wonderful exhibit then. Yeah, you guys said, was Rock him here? Did I see his picture? Rock him? Yeah. No, he didn't. He okay. didn't. He wasn't here as part of that. But uh, we had uh, performances on the stage. It was really, really special to see Flav and and Chuck D pl uh, perform together. And that, that was, was the first time, in, like you said, like ten years. It has been quite a while. I wow. don't know exactly how long, but a lot of people had commented on that one. That's cool. Well, uh, we got to talk about this. Biggie Smalls, man. Certainly. I mean, you know, when you think of hip hop, this is he's one of the uh, the giants in more ways than one, you know, legend. Yeah, yeah. His legacy, I think his influence and everything that went along with that uh, certainly can't be understated. And so we have to have him represented in some way in this exhibit without a doubt. Wow. Tremendous. In this area, you have um, what what because on each side so, represents something. Yeah. On, along the right side here, we have sort of hip hop, hardcore hip hop and rap. And then along the left side is sort of the moguls, so artists and, and the producers and the those that have really uh, made it. Yeah. And when we come over here, <laughs> we look at Jay-Z and this Rocco air, which is so funny because that's back when people, well, the artists realized, wait a minute, this is a cultural influence and we can start making our own labels. Absolutely. It was, it, it, this is, you know, these artists were able to capitalize off their music in other ways, yep. you know, creating these, these iconic labels like Rockaware. Uh, you know, certainly Jay Z uh, is an institution at this oh point, just gosh. inducted, and so uh, yeah. it, it was certainly something that we wanted to talk about here in this exhibit. I saw that; that was so cool. And then we look at the creativity of Rihanna right here, who's one of the the newer influences to hip hop. Yeah, and you know, to the point we're doing the Super Bowl halftime show just a year ago. So yeah. um, at that point, when you're doing that show and. Uh, Talk about making it. That's about as made as you, you get can as get when you get that gig, right? So, right. and then we can't. We would be remiss if we did not talk about Snoop Doggy Dog. I think you're is, right. And this is well. This is one of Fifty Cent's um, yes outfits, and then this is one of Snoop's uh, ensembles as well. Look at that. Right. I mean, and when you talk about Snoop, it's not just the music, really. I mean, certainly we we're talking about that here, but he's just uh, a, a, a mogul in so many so many ways. Whether it's the stuff with Martha Stewart okay. and and it's it's the movies. It's it, he's he also I think is safe to say is yep. sort of an institution. He is. <laughs> All right, we're fifty years of hip hop. Holla if you hear me. When we come back, lots to show you guys. Stay with us.